For Middleton resident Margaret Jansen, the age-old art of pottery has fired her imagination since she was a child. After graduating from the College of Arts in Halifax, she went on to open Apple Pie Pottery in 1989. Since then, her small business has flourished and today offers a variety of unique works. The Apple Pottery uh, the idea formulated from wanting to come up with something that symbolized the valley. Uh, something that had a stem and a leaf and a form that symbolized the apple. And so I did that um, through experimenting with other things. I decided, well, maybe sculpting a little stem and adding that into the center of the plate and uh, making a leaf out of a little piece of clay uh, rolled out and scribing in the leaf vein texture would be effective. Um, I showed a couple of my artist friends some of these first adventures in apple pottery and uh, they rather liked them. They thought it was an interesting design that would probably sell quite well. And so I uh, decided, yes, I think it, it would be worthwhile proceeding on with. The iris design kind of came out of the, um, the love I have for gardening and I realized that a lot of people like to collect blue pottery. A lot of people like blue in their homes. And if you just do one type of pottery, you're va very limited as to your customer base who will purchase it. So I decided to expand into a design that I enjoyed painting, but incorporated the blue. So that's how the iris design started. And the last line, I, design line I came up with was the Celtic. And we have, um, I have Celtic um, ancestry, I guess you might as well say. Uh, Scottish ancestry, Welsh ancestry, and I became very interested in the symbolism behind some of those not work designs. And I thought if I could incorporate that along with handmade pottery, I might have a winning uh, work. And so um, I did try that, and it sold quite well. And we've been selling it to various shops over the years as well as through here. While every piece is meticulously crafted by hand using traditional methods, no two items look the same. Although no molds are used in the process, Margaret has developed several techniques to help ensure consistency. When um, the clay is, um, is cut from the main lumps that we buy at the pugs, we um, make sure that it's a consistent weight and we have, uh, as I'm on the wheel, I measure with a ruler constantly. This far into the game, after 15 years, I don't need to measure as often, but I still measure every single piece, and I always do a cross-section design in my booklet so I know I can repeat the design if I have to. And by, by repeat, I mean it won't be like it's popped out of a mold. It will be um, as close as I can get it with um, you know, barring any major mistakes or <laughs> inaccuracies in measuring. but. Um, it's amazing how similar you can make them after a number of years of doing it. Sometimes people say to me, how can you do the same thing again and again? But to me it becomes almost a zen-like challenge. Can I, how close can I do it? And I try to perfect my personal best and um, tell myself, you know, are these the very best I can do? Um, and I just try to keep that attitude in my mind all the time. There are two absolutely terrific, rewarding moments in pottery for me. It may be different for other people, but um, I love looking at the board trays in my studio filled with nice, wet pieces of pottery that I've just formed, 50 mugs or 12 plates, and they're all shiny and glistening. And I can see that tensile strength of that little edge, and I know that they're done as well as I can, and they're... And and they're just looking so perfect. <laughs> and they haven't even been decorated yet. Sometimes I just like them without any decoration at all. It's just the sheer fun of making that form. And the other surprise and really great moment in pottery is when you get to open the kiln. And usually that's a very great moment. I mean, you open it and wow, it's like Christmas. Everything turned out exactly the way I wanted it to. Oh, wow. And my assistant will hear me say, oh, it turned out great. It turned out great. Margaret Jansen continues to fulfill her dreams and goals with apple pie pottery as she pursues new avenues in her small business. In Middleton, I'm Jeff Ketty for Eastlink Magazine.